Hey, how you doing? Uh, right behind me, let me see if I can get out of the way. Right behind me is my Anycubic Kiron. And uh, I promised to do some more updates on it as time allowed. And um, I've been meaning to make this video for a little while. And I had some uh, a period of negative experiences with the Kiron. And let me tell you why. So um, initially, you know, I did a lot of cool prints with the Kiron. The, the, the coolest of all being this massive, massive skull that Cindy made. Well, I made it and she painted it. Did this in the Kiron. It took something like, God, five days, four days. I don't know. It took forever. And that is one thing that I talked about with the Kiron that I thought was a negative is that it uh, it prints very, very slow, very slow. And I guess that's a byproduct of just of the 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 scale of the the bed and the print head. Um, because of its size, you can get too much uh, momentum you know, from back and forth motions. Uh, so they, they they scale the speed down uh, accordingly. So it's something that you know it's 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 a slight annoyance, but it didn't really bother me. But what did bother me was these random lockups that I started to get on the Kiron. I was I was doing a rather large print, and it stopped like 19 hours into it, something like that, and the screen was just frozen. Um, the print head was frozen. All the heaters had turned off. But if you look at the, at the control panel, it looked like it was still printing, but it was not. It was just hung. And I turned it off, turned it back on, and uh, you know, there was no recovering from it at that point. And I thought, oh, that's weird. So I just kind of wrote it off and uh, went along my merry way. And then as I uh, continued to do some larger prints, this kept occurring. It kept uh, locking up. You know, one time it locked in, locked up, you know, 15 hours into a print. And then it started locking up three hours into a print. And then it locked up after 55 minutes into a print. And every time it was the same symptoms where the control panel would just become unresponsive. And the only way to get out of that, that condition was to uh, unplug it, or not unplug it, but turn it off, turn it back on. So of course I went to the, uh, the Anycubic forum on Facebook and posted about my problem. And I saw other people having the problem as well, which is often the case. And the, the, the solution that one guy came up with, it seemed, it seemed crazy to me. It seemed like it wouldn't work, but he, he swore it worked for him. Basically what he did was any connector on the, on the uh, Kiron, he put like silicone on it. He like siliconed it in place. I think he used something called 555, I guess. Which might, maybe it's a glue actually, I don't know. And him doing that and, and reporting success uh, was interesting to me. And, uh, and also when, when you consider that a number of the connectors from factory already have this adhesive sealant silicone on it already. Like almost all of the connectors to the, the motors have, um, have silicone on them to keep them in place. So, uh, and, I, and in addition to this, I also reached out to support, to anycubic support, support at anycubic.com, I think was the email address, and said, hey, you know, this is really getting annoying. It's getting to the point that I don't trust the printer. You know, I don't want to do these huge prints and then have it just lock up in the middle of it. I mean, that's, that makes the printer pretty much worthless to me. So he, um, he had a, a few suggestions. Uh, none of them seemed to work, but then he came up with uh, a final suggestion that I did try, and let me just show you what I did. All right, that little zip tie. Basically, that's not there from the factory, but what I did is I put a zip tie uh, through the, I guess this is a, a heat sink or, or just the case, and tied down the printhead cable so there's no possibility of it getting moved. It's kind of a strain relief, I guess. And in addition to that, I unplugged and replugged this. I also unplugged and replugged uh, any any connector that that uh, I had to plug in from factory just to make sure everything was seated well. But since making that change, yeah, since making that change, uh, it's been good. I, have, I haven't had a single lockup. I've done a number of um, I'm trying to think the longest print. I've done a few 18-hour prints, um, and it has not locked up once since I did that. So, uh, those of you, if you found this video because your Kiron is locking up. I would strongly recommend that you do what I did. Um, reseat any of those connectors that are pluggable, that don't already have silicone on them. 
Um, you, you could put silicone on them if you want to be safe. But in my case, I think the thing that actually fixed it was securing the print head cable uh, with that zip tie so there's no possibility of it getting jostled during the print. And um, I'll let you know if it, if it changes from here on out, but it seems like that might have been the fix for my problem. Oh, one other thing. One other thing that I did uh, have a negative opinion about was the difficulty in loading filament in the Kiron with this design. And what I've actually wound up starting to do is whenever I need to uh, load or change filament, I pop these three screws out, which gives you direct access to the area where the uh, filament is, is fed through the extruder. And I find it's much, much easier for me to get it lined up correctly with this cover off. And uh, then I just pop it back on and uh, it just it saves me a lot of hassle. Instead of just, just fishing around and, and trying to line it up, it's very, very difficult to do with this cover on, at least I've found. So, yeah, I pull this cover off, uh, unload and reload the filament, and uh, everything's great. So anyways, that's all I got for you. I just wanted to uh, make a quick video illustrating my fix for what was a very annoying problem. Like I said, it, got, it was getting to the point that I just I wasn't going to use the printer. Uh, because a, a printer that freezes during print jobs is uh, is not useful to anybody. So I'm glad that at least this appears to have fixed the problem. If you are having a similar problem to this, I would recommend you try these steps as well. And uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below if it helped you, or if you have any more information about it. I would uh, find that useful as well. So that's all I have for you for now. If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, also leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. I uh, always am interested to see what uh, my viewership thinks about uh, the content. So, yeah, please be sure to do that. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, that's all I got for you for now. Till next time, Duffman out.